Talk. And tonight, lawmakers are continuing their discussion over how South Carolina judges are elected after lawmakers delayed their judicial elections that I told you about that were scheduled for February 7th. That didn't happen. It didn't happen. News 19's Becky Buds tells us what changes are being considered. The discussions follow a recent vow by a bipartisan group of senators to block all judicial elections until the General Assembly addresses the issue. We're, we're trying to do this the right way. The Senate subcommittee is working to streamline a slew of bills aimed at changing the way judges are chosen in South Carolina. Uh, one we think will make meaningful impact in judicial reform, uh, but also realistically have a chance to pass both bodies and become law. South Carolina is one of two states where the legislator elects judges. But calls have been increasing over the last year for a change to that system. Proposals range from adding appointments from the governor to the screening commission and establishing term limits for its members. Should there be um, some tweaking to the process about who's involved? I have no problem with that at all. Um, but do we, do we have a system that is broken? I don't think so. I really don't think so. Subcommittee Chairman Senator Scott Talley says the bill will also address the number of candidates that are found qualified. Right now, only three candidates for each race are advanced. Democratic Senator Ronnie Saab says his biggest concern is the makeup of judges across the state. South Carolina is currently the only state in the nation to have an all-male Supreme Court. Um, I care about the fact that there are very few uh, African-American male judges on the circuit court. Uh, judge elections ought not be partisan. It ought to be based on qualifications. And the idea of not considering diversity is simply wrong. Diversity it continues to be our strength. Whether any of these changes are enough to satisfy the senators threatening to halt judicial elections is unclear. Um, some will want more, some will want less than what we've talked about. Um, but I don't, I don't think it needs to be a hostage situation that we're operating in. The subcommittee will meet again next week in hopes of advancing a proposal to the full Judiciary Committee. Lawmakers tell me they're confident a bill will pass both chambers before the end of session. Reporting at the State House, Becky Buds, News 19, WLTX. The judges' terms will expire June 30th, leaving their seats empty if no elections are held. And don't forget, you will be able to share your opinion on if South Carolina should adopt judicial election reform. Lawmakers have added three questions to the Republican presidential uh, ballot on the primary asking for your opinion. Uh, the questions will be popping up on your screen. As you can see, this is uh, a question about whether or not South Carolina law should ch be changed to give people the right to register to vote for their political party. That's one question. The other is what we said about the judicial reform that you see right there is question number two. And finally, the third question asks, should South Carolina adopt lawsuit reform? 